Hey Tubes, we got something a little different for you here today. This is our bandsaw, and uh, any of you guys that watch our videos a lot know we use this thing almost every day. You can tell by the debris in the, in the catch basket here. You know, I mean, it's that's just sawdust. I call it sawdust, but actually metal filings. But anyway, just by the cutoffs, you can see we use this thing so much it's unbelievable. And me and Little Racer, we had this thing aligned so it was, it cut so straight that most of the stuff you wouldn't have to mill or anything. It was, it was damn near perfect. But, uh, one of the guys tried to cut some of this uh, metal. And it was just so far off and, uh, if you can see that there, man, it's, it's not even close to straight. I don't even know what kind of angle that is, but. You know, it's no good for cutting. But uh, I think maybe one of the guys might have messed with some of the, the fittings on here and adjustments because you see these wheels here? These wheels are supposed to spin freely. And they weren't. They were, uh, they were so tight that I couldn't get the, the saw off, the blade itself. Let me show you the blade. The blade is almost... The blade is in good shape, you know what I mean? The... The teeth and everything is nice, but those wheels were so tight. I don't know if you can see it because of the glare here and the way the camera is. I don't even know if it's focusing. Let me see if I can get the focus. No, I think I'll do it. But anyway, those wheels were so tight, it was pressing on, pressing on this blade, and it was. Uh, almost crushing it, making it, forming it, you know, like, almost like an English wheel, you know, a lot of you guys don't know what that is, but that's, uh, that compresses steel so much that the body men use it to, to form shapes and stuff, and it shouldn't be like that, so, and you see how it's still, still pretty perfectly round and everything, but, I'm going to try and uh, readjust everything on this and I'll show you as I go. But first, to start off, I'm going to clean it just to get rid of all the, the metal shavings and stuff like that. I mean, there's an awful lot on here. And then uh, we'll start adjusting. I'm going to clean out inside here too. I know this, this don't have much to do with the way it cuts and everything, but still, I'm cleaning everything up, so. It looks like even at the motor over here. You see, you got metal shavings around the, the opening of the engine here, the little motor. That can't be good for it getting on the armature and stuff, so we'll, we'll blow that out too. Here, we're going to clean inside here too. I don't know if you see this wheel, but you know, from all the, the oil and, and stuff, I don't use much oil when I cut, you know because it cuts so good without it but the aluminum really clogs this up I wiped it a little with my finger but that might might throw off the alignment too and down here this wheel is uh, even worse you know but that that'll wipe right off but that might have something to do with it but here's what I wanted to show you these uh... turn my light out here Down here, and you put the blade in, you see the way it goes in between it? And when that blade is in there, you should be able to spin these wheels with your finger. You know, just barely. And these top ones were so tight, I can't even, I can't even get the saw in there. You know? And that's not good. Look, it goes in a little bit, but on, on certain parts of the saw. Certain parts of the saw I want him to go in. So that's uh, that's not good. Alright. All right, let me clean this thing up. Alright, I put the blade on. And the first thing you want to do, and you shouldn't have you shouldn't have to do it other than when you first buy the saw. I've had this a long time, but I, I, I misaligned it just so I can show you how to align it if you're just buying one. And that is uh, if you look down here. At the saw, there's like a little gap right here. 
that's the bottom pulley and you want that blade right up against that lip there's a lip here so I'll show you how to adjust that come around the back here and this one this one has two screws uh, other ones may, may be a little different you know this also has an allen screw this uh, this machine is a MSC it's a pretty good one it's uh, it's very similar to the Harbor Freight because the Harbor Freight probably took the design from here but th this will cost about uh, four times as much but it doesn't mean it's better the Harbor Freight ones that I've seen they're they're just as good so I think the, the adjustments are pretty much the same but anyway you want to put your blade on and uh, just take your switch, your on off switch right here and just flick it on once or twice and see where your alignment is you see now like I said mine has a gap here up, up here we got, I don't have a light on it but there's a little gap up there now and you want that you, you don't want it rubbing against it, you just want it to touch so uh, let me adjust these bolts in the back and get that to where it belongs alright, I'm going to turn these on here and adjust it I don't know to see if I got an idea where it's going to go so. right there. you might have seen it but I didn't alright, let me check it out Okay, looks like it has to go just a little bit more. Maybe a little more. Right, let me shut it down and look at it. That's, uh, that's pretty good. That's right about where we want it. Alright, next thing we'll do is... Uh, adjust this this thing here. I already have adjusted. It's only these two two bolts here. But you want that to be square. So just a regular standard uh, speed square will work. Just stick it up there and uh, put it up against one of the edges. This, this edge uh, seems to be pretty flat and the one up top is pretty flat. Or square I should say. So once you got that square you should be fine. There you go. If you don't have a square, find yourself something that you know is, is square. You know, like I know this block is, is square. So you can actually feel, you know, that you're, you're square all the way around. All right. All right, that should be sufficient for most applications, but uh, I'll show you what I do to, to square the blade up. And then it also, you can also check your, uh, your base here, see if that's square. It's uh, something... Something you don't see in the, in the books or on, uh, you know, the factory videos and stuff, but uh, I've, I've seen other people do it, and it works pretty good. Alright, I took the blade out. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this uh, scale, 12-inch scale I have, and I know that this is perfectly level. You know, you, I put it on a machine surface, and I know it's, it's perfect. So I'm going to use this, and what I'm going to do is... I'm going to stick it in between the rollers here and mount it in there like that. And I'm going to say I'm going to try out. I'm going to show you something here that'll uh, I'll show you why you shouldn't over tighten these wheels. Right, what I'm going to do is uh, let me try and put some light on this because the shop is really bright, but I got shadows coming on this. I'm going to take this. This, these here are cams. One, one is uh, stationary. It doesn't move, but the, the one in the front is a cam, and I'll show you that when I, when I put a close-up on the top there. But anyway, I'm going to take this, uh, this straight edge I got, this scale, and just tighten it down, just enough to barely hold it. And then, uh, let me zoom in on the top and I'll show you what's going on up there. Alright. I got it in here, I got you zoomed in on the top here. And like I say, this here's a cam. So this will tighten things up. But 
what I want you to see is if you over tighten this, and this is what happens with the blade too. I don't know which is better if I leave the light on or take the light off, but I'll show you. That might do. But watch the watch this here when you over tighten it. See the way it's bending? Well that's what's happening with your blade. So you actually want these, when you put your blade in, you want these things to be just barely touching it. And you want to be able to roll in with your finger. So for this application, I'm just I'm just going to put this on and tighten it just barely enough to hold that. You know, that's, uh, that's ready to fall out. And I'll show you what we're doing next. Okay. Now by putting that scale in there, you could actually check to see how perfect it is, you know. That's, as, that's about as good as you're ever going to get it. You know, it is only just a bandsaw. It's not a, not a miller or anything. So they're perfectly square, but th that's not the reason I put that uh, scale in there. That's, that just double checks you there. But what you do is you, you put it on end here, and this will tell you. Let me go around the other side here. This will tell you how square your blade is. Let me get it. Sorry about that. Let me get a light on this. If I zoom in on there, that'll tell you your blade is pretty straight. And that's what's going to give you a straight cut or not if it's straight. So if it's not, and you have to adjust it, let me show you where the adjustments are for that. Alright, to adjust that blade straight up and down, you would, uh, these nuts right here, on the end, and over here. And there's, there's not very much play, but there is play. Just enough to throw you off, so... If you're not square or straight there, play with this. It may take you a few times to, to get it square or straight, but uh, that's where you, that's where the problem lies. So uh, make sure you do that. Now I'm gonna put the blade back on and uh, see what it does. All right, I put the blade back on. Now I'm gonna try and show you with this. Like I say, this camera I don't like uh, low light situations, but this this roller in the back here. Back off a little bit. You want to be able to spin this. See it spinning? You don't want it touching, but it's so close. And it will touch. See, it go, the camera goes out of focus when I try to come in close on you. Let me try something here. Alright, so like I say, this, this wheel here, you want it so close, but you don't want it to touch. And it probably, it will touch when, it, when, you're, when you're weld, or when you're, when you're cutting. Same with this one down here. I don't know if you can see this one. But this one, this one spins. And it's, it's, it's so close, it's almost touching. But you want it to spin. Alright, now let me tighten up on the cams. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, I tightened the bottom ones here. Let me show you. It's tight enough that it actually moves the blade. But, it also, it'll also spin. So it's, it's, they're both of them are, are tight, just as tight as you want them without binding that blade. Alright, let me show you, I'll do the top one and show you exactly what's going on there. Alright, I'm holding the camera with my left hand so it's going to be a little shaky. But, you see this cam? That cam is coming in and out. I don't know if you can see the blade, but the blade is actually twisted now. And then when you come in, it straightens that blade out. But you want to come in just enough to touch it. And... Even okay, that's too tight. A little looser. Okay, that's what you want. You see the way that barrel's spinning? Sorry for the camera, keep going in and out on us, but be able to spin both of these barrels. Now that thing is should be perfect. All right, now what you want to do is you want to hold that in place and uh, tighten the back of it. The nut in the back here is a uh, tightens it up. So let me do that. Alright, we got both of these here. So they're both of them are turning, but there's no play. Same with the bottom. Turning. But no play. Alright. Also when you put your blade on, make sure you got your teeth pointing down. Cuts a lot better that way. Alright. And I put a piece of round stock here in the, the machine. Uh, let's turn it on and see how it does.
pretty good. I had to grab it so I wouldn't lose it. Sometimes you'll lose it, but I think I got it. I think I got it down here. All right, let me get the, let me get a micrometer and see what that is. All right, let's see what we got here. To the naked eye, I don't know if that's going to focus in for me. It looks looks just about perfect. But let me throw a mic on there and see what's going on. Yeah, there you go. Push it. Yeah, that's it. It's pretty close. Yeah. So, oh, no, that's four two nine. Uh, still, you know, that's about as that's about as perfect as you're gonna get with a bandsaw. So, I hope that uh, hope that helps somebody out. All right. Thanks for watching.